Hey folks, how you doing? Just another little quick video. I received a message the other day and it's something that gets talked about a lot as well is death rigs. I received a, a message the other day off a good friend of mine and they're asking me if I could just talk about it and do a little video on it. Now, first of all, one thing I see a lot of is these setups with a swivel on this end for the uplink. That's fine. Tight to the line if it breaks off. And go away. And it's with all the other end for the lead and there's no way that that fish can lose the lead if it gets tethered up in a snag or you know locked in weed this day and age I shouldn't be making videos like this to explain to people if you're a carp angler or even if you're new to carping this is stuff you should be looking up, you know, and seeking advice on before you even put a rod in your hand. I've seen people say, oh, I didn't want to lose the lead, I'm paying three quid a lead. If you're paying three quid a lead, you're going to the wrong tackle shop. There's plenty of, you know, leads out there at tackle shops that are cheap enough. There's plenty of lead companies out there that do cheap leads. If you're more bothered about losing three quid on a lead, just imagine how if someone that owns that fishery or syndicate or local pool, wherever you're fishing, just imagine how they feel. You're act off because you're losing three quid for a lead. Imagine how they feel when they're losing thousands on deaths of fish damage to fish I think I'd rather lose three pound not that I pay three pound for my leads but that's another thing you could educate yourself on go around looking for cheaper leads if you're paying three quid a lead you're being ripped off right here's my setup that's a bit of tubing might look like leg cord, but it's not. Sorry. Um, a few, few places out there, fisheries and stuff, ban leg core. Well, there's a way around it. This is tubing that's made to look like leg core, but it's lead free. I won't say where I got it from because I'm not into uh, giving out companies' names and stuff. It's not all about that. To try and get yourself known it's just educational if you do if any of you do want to know where I get these from just ping me a message and I'll gladly gladly tell you right next a quick change swivel I'll we'll do where's my rig I've got my rig with me literally where your little loop is on the end there's no need for a swivel on the end of it, on the, on, the, uh, on the end of a rig, you can clip it on there. You can clip it on there. And now what I'm going to do? Just hold there a second. It's going to get a rig and show. Got a little toad in me, baby. This is how simple it is. Okay. The loop on the end of your rig. Quick chain swivel. That's how simple it is. Usually I'll put an anti-tangle sleeve on there, depending on what rig I'm using. If it's supple braid I'll use an anti-tangle sleeve 
what look how simple that is and again just all you do pull it off okay and the next thing let's talk about this on the tubing I'm using a running lead system this little buffer bead here which is called the tadpole tadpole bead quick change link there just pushes inside there there's a little barrel inside there you go now in the event of a crack off okay one good thing okay the fish is pulling that lead round right. watch how easy this is see how easy that comes off and all the fish is going to be left with is that runs where that lead ran away there look at that free running lead and all it's going to be left with is the rig and that little quick chain swivel that's better than dragging around the weight of leg coil or tubing an ounce to four ounce lead whatever you're using that is so much easier and all you do with that it comes it's a little kit helicopter ring little quick chain swivel so you can even change your leads if you're not in your spots you just take that off put another one on we'll watch even if I push it over this little groove here and just hold it in place when you cast look how easy that comes off how easy is that and that fish just shed the lead and all that's left with is a rig and eventually someone will it'll either shed that hook link or someone will catch it and if they've got some common sense and they're a responsible angler like the majority of you are take that hook out nice and easy that's how simple it is I shouldn't be talking about it I shouldn't be doing a video about this in this day and age if you're new to carp angling Go out with someone that's got experience. Don't just go in blindfolded. There's a lot more to carp fishing than some of you think there is. It's not a case of going in a tackle shop as a, as a member of the public, coming out with a load of gear and you're an instant carp angler. Do your homework. There's plenty of stuff out there on YouTube social media there's tons of stuff out there be a responsible angler i've said there's loads of different setups that you can use leg clip setups helicopter setups they're all, all work do you do your homework on them don't just you know hey one thing i hate seeing is death rigs there's no need for it absolutely no need for it i actually seen a guy the once well, actually, I caught a guy's setup the once. I pulled it in on the bank. It's a leg clip setup. Now, I always thought that he'd force the tail rubber on, but he hadn't. He'd super glued it because he was afraid of you losing a lead. That's shocking. There's no room in the sport for that. Be a responsible angler. Remember, common sense, tight lines if you're out there guys, good luck, stay safe, be alert and take your rubbish on.